Hey everyone, I am Mohammed, and today is the 4th of August 2021. Yesterday Laravel 8.53.0 was released and today I'm going to bring you all the new things the Laravel team and community have been working on lately. So without much ado, let's get started. The first thing on my list for today is a new arts and command that allows you to monitor your queues and find if there are any queues that are stuck or too busy processing too many jobs. Queues in Laravel are processed by separate processes, worker processes, that run in the background. And since they run in the background, they are out of sight, but definitely not out of mind. There are some cases where the jobs in the queue keep piling up and you will need to detect that and take action. This can be due to some system uh, or some service in your system that has gone rouge and is dispatching a lot of jobs. Or maybe a user in the system is doing too much actions, too much, too fast, and is abusing the system. Or maybe the workers, the worker processes have stopped working and the jobs are piling up without any workers to process them. And to detect that, Laravel added the new queue monitor command to help you. Let me show you. Let's start by running the new command php artson queue monitor and this command accepts a comma separated list of the queues you want to monitor. If you want to monitor a single queue you can just provide it here and as we can see in the result it prints a table. This table contains the queue that we want to monitor and the size of the queue currently. Let's monitor multiple queues so we have default and reports and here we go. We can see that the default queue has 10 drops while the reports queue has 9 drops. By default Laravel will use the default connection to check the provided queues. But you can specify the connection if you want. So php artsen queue monitor and I have another connection called ci, another queue connection. And let's monitor the deployments queue on this connection. And here we go. It shows that the deployments queue has 13 drops currently. You can also mix between queues on the default connection and a different connection. So let's try that php artsen queue monitor and then we will monitor the reports queue on the default connection and the default queue on the default connection and the deployments queue on the CI connection. And here are the results. 9 drops, 10 drops and 13 drops. This is quite handy. You can check the status of your queues at any point in time. But that's not all. This command allows you to set a maximum acceptable amount or a maximum acceptable size for your queues. And if any of the queues exceed this size, Laravel is going to dispatch an event. By default, we have this size set to 1000 drops, but you can set that or you can specify that using the max option. So let's try that and call PHP Artsen queue monitor and let's monitor the reports, default queues as well as the CI deployments queue as well and let's set the maximum option to 10. And here we go, we can see that the reports queue has a size of 9 so it's okay because we said the maximum is 10 but the default queue has a size of 10 so it's considered an alert as well as the deployments queue on the CI connection. For each queue with the status alert, Laravel is going to dispatch a queue busy event. We can listen to this event and perform any action we want. So let's go to the app service provider inside the put method and let's use the event facade and call the lesson method and listen to this queue busy event. Provide a closure for the second argument and this closure has the event ready for us to use. Inside the event callback here, we can send a notification or call an API endpoint to add more workers. The possibilities are endless. And the event object here has three public properties. The name of the connection that the alert is related to and the name of the queue as well as the current size of the queue. With this new command, you can check the size of your queues at any time you want. And you can actually schedule the queue monitor command to run periodically so you ensure that your drops or your queues are always healthy. Go ahead and use this command in your application. We have already found, user, found it useful in many applications that we maintain internally. 
The next feature in this release is the ability to cast eloquent model attributes to immutable date and date time castings. And immutable is the opposite of mutable. A mutable object is one that can has its state change. That makes an immutable object is an object where its state cannot change. Mutable dates can be the source of confusion and a lot of annoying and hidden bugs in your code. And that's why in this release of Laravel, we added the ability for you to cast an object or to cast an attribute as a date or an immutable date. Let me explain this with code better. In this example application, we have a user model that has an attribute called anniversary. This attribute is currently casted to a date cast. Let's check the value of this attribute for the user of ID1. So let's declare a user variable and call the user find one method. This gives us the user and let's set another variable called anniversary and assign the anniversary attribute to it. And finally, let's dump the value of the anniversary. And let's go to the browser and visit this route. And here we go. We can see that the value of the anniversary is a carbon date and the date is set to the 1st of September 2016. This is actually the date when I joined Laravel five years ago or almost five years ago. So let's say we want to check if Mohammed has been working at Laravel for more than five years. For that, we are going to check if the anniversary date, if we add five years to it, add years five, let's fix this typo is less than or equal the current date. If that's the case, we are going to echo. It has been more than five years. Otherwise, we are going to echo. It has been less than five years. If we go to the browser and refresh, we can see that it prints that it has been less than five years. Now let's check the value of the anniversary. Remember that we are still dumping the anniversary after this check. So let's see the value here and we can see that it's set to September 1st, 2021. And that's because we called add years here, which added five years. And that's because our date object here is mutable. The internal state can be changed. You can imagine the confusion and bugs this may bring. So in Laravel 8.53.0, we have added the immutable date cast. So let's go to the user object and instead of the date casting, we are going to use immutable date. Let's go to the browser and refresh and we can see that the check worked, but the value of the carbon object here didn't change. It's still set to September 1st, 2016. This new cast will help eliminate those annoying bugs that result from the date being a mutable object. Have you been in this situation before? Have you been bitten by this bug before? If that's the case, let us know in the comment section down below and go ahead and change the casting in your uh, eloquent models to use the immutable date object instead. Now let's move to an update on Laravel Forge. And Forge is a service that allows you to provision and manage Ubuntu servers to deploy your Laravel and PHP applications. We are constantly working on the interface, the web interface of Laravel Forge to make it easier for you to use it. But if you are like me and prefer the command line interface, we have recently released Forge CLI, which is, which is a CLI tool that allows you to manage your Forge servers from the CLI. Let me show you. The Forge CLI tool is an open source package that's hosted on GitHub. And with it, you can deploy your sites, check the application logs, check a daemon status, restarting PHP, FPM, and Nginx, uh, interacting with the database, and many more. And to get started, you can check the documentation on GitHub and call Composer Global Require Laravel Forge CLI to install it in your machine. Forge CLI is one of the options for automating your Forge workflows. We provide the Forge API and the Forge PHP SDK. And finally, we provide the Forge CLI tool. You can use any of these tools to make your life easier. If you haven't tried Forge yet, now is a great time. Go to forge.laravel.com and create your account. And that's it. That's all I have for you today. 
If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below or reach out to me on Twitter and I will do my best to answer all the questions. Thank you, have a great day, happy goating and see you later.